slim down and fill up breakfast recipe. But whether you're normally a cereal kind of person or you skip breakfast completely or maybe some frozen breakfast Jimmy Dean's biscuits, <laughs> whatever variation of breakfast you are, this is a really good recipe to have in your skill set or in your routine that can help you fill up and feel full longer and also help you lose weight if that's your goal. Right, and it's actually not just a recipe. So we're the reason why, if it were just a recipe, there'd be no point in doing a video unless we were walking you through how to cook it, which is not what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. But what we are gonna do is we're going to explain, uh, kind of get an answer to the question of what makes any recipe or meal better for weight loss than anything else? Like why this rather than some other mm -hmm. thing? What, why is it good for weight loss? Uh, so we're gonna talk about that and then we'll talk about this recipe in particular. And then you can go, if you wanna actually try and make it, you can go and read the instructions that are in the blog. We don't do cooking videos. No, but, uh, but I, I feel like people who don't watch this are not gonna get as much out of it, even if they do go and make the recipe. So mm. I'm glad that you're here. <laughs> Basically, okay, so if you wanna lose weight, but you still want to eat delicious food, who doesn't? <laughs> Uh, if you don't want to feel starved while you do it, and if you want a quick option because you don't have a lot of time, then this recipe is going to help. But we're going to start with the tips for why it works for weight loss. So this particular recipe, I, I guess you know, you know what? I'm not even going into that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go into the tips. So. There, there are three reasons why this recipe does work well for weight loss. And so I guess what I'll do is I'll, I'll use this recipe as an example of why it's good for weight loss, but show how any recipe could potentially be good or not good for weight loss. So number one, this particular recipe is very adaptable. The most important part of eating for healthy weight loss so that you actually get the results that you want is getting your portions right. Mm. This recipe makes that super easy. Uh, all you have to know ahead of time, and this is where the part that it's like, okay, that for any meal, you need to know how many carbs, how much protein, how much fats, how much veggies, how much of that do you need to be eating every day in order to lose weight? That is number one. If you don't know those things, then you will not lose weight other than just by pure luck. Because <laughs> you have to know that going into it. And if you have a recipe then that makes it super easy to get the right amounts of those things, then you're, you've got that covered. That, that's one thing. You can do it with any meal. I'm not saying you can't, but some recipes are easier than others of going, okay, I'm going to make this, for instance, for the family. I want to make sure I get the right amount of food for me, but still, you know, be able to feed everybody mm -hmm. and have everybody be happy and full. Yeah. So for example, with this recipe, if you need fewer carbs, then it's super easy to just not have as much sweet potato. You just don't put as much either in the pan or on your particular plate. Uh, you, or you can even swap out some of the sweet potato for turnips, which are a veggie mm -hmm. rather than a carb. So that can be a little bit confusing because veggies and carbs, all veggies are technically carbs, but when you're thinking about weight loss, they're, they're a different thing. Yeah. And, and by the way, all of this that I'm talking about, the knowing how many carbs and how much protein, all of that, that's stuff that you're probably gonna need help with. I say probably, you are going yeah. to need help with this. And so that's why we're here. And if you want help with that, then we're happy to do that for you. And that's we what we do, do with our clients. Specifically for your, you and your goals. Yeah, and show you how to make it easy too. Without, mm -hmm. We're not talking about like weighing food or counting grams mm -hmm. or anything like that. Uh, if you need more protein, this recipe is also a good one because you can just add some more chicken to it. Yeah. Or to be honest, you don't even have to have chicken in this recipe. But the reason why I added it is because I did, I was during weight loss, I wanted to have a little bit more protein and it's a little bit harder to get enough protein in when you're eating less food. And so just adding a little bit of chicken, boom, you've got more protein. Or you top the whole thing off, like I always do because I like the taste of it, with an egg or two in my case, just depending upon how much protein you need for the day. Or really any protein that you like. I have a client who likes cottage cheese with this meal. Okay, yeah. 
Or if you need more veggies, like I said, the original recipe called for sweet potatoes and turnips. I don't like turnips, so I throw in a bunch of spinach into this because I, I like spinach. Uh, you could also use winter squash instead of turnips to kind of put stuff in there. Or, you, or literally, you can just add any vegetable that you want to this. It doesn't matter what it is. If you mm -hmm. don't like what's in the recipe, just go, oh, well, you know what would be good with this? There's some onions or bell peppers, or I want to add some tomatoes, which mm -hmm. I know are technically a fruit, but nutritionally speaking, it's a veggie. So, so the big picture for this being adaptable is that for any recipe that you do when you're trying to lose weight, knowing how much to put in so that of what you need can be very, very simple. And it can just literally be just going, okay, I need roughly this much carbs. So I'm going to give myself that for this recipe. And it's, and then it's really easy to get what you need. So, so it's adaptable with both what your goals are and what you need to be eating, but also your preferences. So you don't have to just white knuckle through diet breakfast that you don't love. Exactly. And that is when you understand how to do that, with any recipe, it makes weight loss super, super easy. Mm -hmm. Understanding the, the foundation. Yeah. For sure, which is what we help you, can help you with. Mm -hmm. Another thing that it makes this recipe or any recipe good for weight loss is it's gotta be filling. And this one is. Now, just big picture again, another important part of weight loss is staying full because you don't want to get so hungry that you lose all self-control and you just grab whatever's in front of you and binge eat it. So that's where a lot of diets fail mm -hmm. is because they're too calorie restrictive or you're not eating enough. And then the pendulum swings the other way and you can't control yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now the best overall solution for this of staying full is eating more whole foods. So more, um, minimally processed, just foods that more in their natural state than when um, Betty Crocker or all the other companies take them and make them into a bag or a box for you easier to consume. Yeah. Now, and I'll I'll be honest, like the sausage that I put in this recipe is a more processed food. So I'm not. We're not saying like you can only eat 100 percent whole foods. Crush your own grains, but you have to decide like what is worth it for you. Like with the sausage. Finding a minimally processed sausage for us is a lot of work and effort and cost. So we sacrifice there where that's a little bit more convenient, but it's still a good choice. Yep. And so you have to decide what that is for you, what effort of more whole foods is appropriate for your lifestyle. Yep. And so for just again, as an example with this recipe, it's, it's it is mostly whole foods besides the sausage and sweet potatoes in particular are a very filling food. So uh, find the foods that you know are gonna fill you up more. And, and when you're losing weight, the more you can kind of eat those and find those foods, the easier that's gonna be too. And by the way, if you're not super excited about sweet potatoes, you can, I already mentioned, you could swap it out for turnips or winter squash. Regular potatoes. Yes, that, that's <laughs> what I was going to say. And regular potatoes are every bit as filling as sweet potatoes. And In fact, they may, maybe even more so. Yeah, and just as just as nutritious. They're a great choice. So I, I will say, if that feels overwhelming, like knowing which foods are going to fill you up the most, that's something we also help our clients identify and, and learn how to find those foods and what makes sense for their lifestyle efforts. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit different for everybody. You can look up online, like what foods are the most filling. There's a satiety index. And for example, potatoes are actually the highest on that index, but every person's a little bit different. In fact, one of the top three things I think on that scale is oatmeal. For me, I can eat oatmeal and it's super filling. And that is the case for most people, but I was surprised to find out that it's not for you, right? And I know, uh, we've had at least one other client who said, oh, if I eat oatmeal, then I just want to, um, eat more. Eat more. Yeah. So, so it really, it, it is a matter of kind of finding the things it, you can't just go, well, this is a filling food for everybody because mm -hmm. it might be for most people, but, but everyone's different. Again, there is no like one hard and fast diet rule here for any person. Yeah. Which again is why we can help you because we know what can, may or may not work. And if something doesn't work for you, then we know what to try instead and can, and can help you with that. So another reason why this particular recipe works well for weight loss is because 
And this is more of a personal thing. Again, this works for me. Maybe it will work for you. Maybe it won't. But because it's a breakfast recipe in particular, when I am losing weight, first of all, all of my meals, breakfast or not, they're very similar to my normal meals when I'm not losing weight. I don't go from eating, uh, you know, whatever, th this meal to a totally different set of foods or meals. Uh, they're, they're very, very similar all the time, almost identical. Other than that, maybe there's a little bit less food yeah. in them. The, the amount of protein doesn't fluctuate that much, but or the veggies even, but what does fluctuate depending on what you're working on is the carbs and the fats and the amounts yeah. that you're eating. And so again, go back to that like foundational things, knowing what you need to eat of each item. But what doesn't change is it's not totally different meals. Yeah. It's it's not like these foods are for weight loss and <laughs> these foods are for yeah. when you're not. It's If you want to maintain weight loss, you got to eat the same foods kind of all the time. Uh, and I don't mean literally like the same meals. I just mean like it, it, we're not talking about it's a totally different set of eating habits or behaviors. You're, those behaviors need to be kind of the same all the time, even if you are eating different foods. So, okay, so my meals are generally all the same, but a little bit smaller, except for at breakfast. When I am losing weight, my first meal of the day, regardless of when I eat it, doesn't mean you have to jump out of bed and have breakfast if you don't like it, but my first meal of the day, I keep that relatively, pretty much the same size as what my meals are when I'm not losing weight because I have found that for me, it's a lot harder on me if I try to save room to have a big dinner. And so I'm eating smaller meals for breakfast, lunch, or snacks, or whatever. Um, no, no matter how much I eat in the evening, I can never really catch up on my hunger. So what I do is my first meal is my biggest and it starts out just basically feeling like a normal day. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and then lunch is a little bit smaller, dinner's a little bit smaller, but I kind of have gotten ahead of my hunger. And that's a tip that works well for a lot of people. It doesn't work well for everybody. So this is, I mean, like we have said multiple times already, this is not a one size fits all tip, but it's definitely something worth trying, especially if you've never done it before. If you typically, you just wake up and then whenever you have breakfast, you have a small bowl of cereal or whatever. And that's not going to hold you over very well and you're going to be hungry later. Um, and so give it a try. See if having a full size meal at breakfast or even a little bit bigger than what you're used to, maybe that's going to hold you over better and you're going to feel better during weight loss. Um, like I said, I, I this is something you have to experiment with, but um, but it definitely works for more than just me. So try it, and if it doesn't work, then fine. There's no sciencey reason to force yourself to do it, but but it might work. It's just another one of those tips that's worth trying. That uh, we we've got a million of these in our back pocket that we we can give to you if you if we're helping you. But if not, that's one you can try on your own. Okay, so this recipe again is I want to talk about how you can make it a very quick and easy recipe because to be honest. If you're just starting from scratch, this recipe could take a long time in the morning. Mm -hmm. And that's actually true for a lot. I feel like a lot of good recipes is that they, they do take more time. If every single meal you're cooking everything all at once, that's a lot of work. You don't have to do that. And I think that's a really good strategy that people don't use enough of is, is that they, they need to um, prepare things ahead of time and i'm not talking about meal prep like partially meal prepping like prepping a part of the meal at some point before you go to cook it yeah and so let me give you just a little bit of background on this by the way i am not the cook of the family so when i'm talking about this stuff you're talking to somebody who is so much like i used to absolutely hate being in the kitchen and cooking I mean, I did not like to eat the food that I cooked because I hated the process so much. <laughs> so I've, I've come a long way since then. I've, now I just kind of have a general dislike of cooking, but I make most of the breakfast in our house. And, and most of those meals are very well-balanced meals that I feel good about eating and feeding my kids. It takes a little bit more effort than pouring a bowl of cereal, but, but I do like to keep it simple because I'm not a cook. So. What we're talking about here when we're talking about partially prepping things is really 
at some point you're going to make meals, hopefully. If you're, if you're not making any meals, then that's, a, that's another conversation that we need to have because you, you're gonna have to make something. And when you're making those other meals, if you just make a little bit more of certain things that you know you can use later, for instance, for this recipe, sweet potatoes and chicken. Mm -hmm. We keep those pretty much in the fridge almost all the time. Yep. Whenever we're making them for another meal, we make a bunch extra. of it. Yep. And so that doesn't take any extra time or very little extra time right. yeah. to, to just make more of it. And then it's in your fridge and then boom, for like for this recipe, literally all you have to do is get the stuff out of the fridge. And, and these are essentially the instructions of this recipe, by the way. It is, <laughs> you put a pan on the stove, medium heat, let it warm up. You toss in however much you need of each ingredient based on, I need this much carbs, I need this much protein. I, and put it in the pan, you let it warm up for a few minutes, and then you take it out and you eat it. That's, that's literally all there is to it. If you know how much you need to eat of everything and you you make more of the extra things that you need to have on a regular basis yeah. i want to just emphasize that efficiency piece like when we have a meal at least once a week in the evening that already has roasted sweet potatoes so i cook several pans of it at one time so that throughout the week i can pull from it for different meals and for breakfast same thing with chicken it's like i use that chicken in several meals so it's just a matter of you're already you're already doing it so let's make the most of it yep and, and so that's that's it that's it all starts with that foundation like i said of knowing what you need how much you need of it to reach your goals and then recipes like this one or any other can be so much easier so much easier to have healthy, good, filling, and delicious recipes. This is one of my favorite foods, this, this meal. I have it for breakfast all the time, like I said. And it's super easy because we have set up these strategies to make it easy. And that's where we can help you. And I feel like if you really are wanting to lose weight, then getting that help is going to save you years of your time of figuring this stuff out because that's what it took for us and that's what it takes yeah. for everybody. And so what we'd like to do is talk to you. You can book a free 20 minute call just to chat real quick, kind of figure out what your struggles are and see if our coaching is a good fit for you. So it's definitely, if you want to potentially work with us, you can find out, hey, maybe is this a good idea or not? And if not, that's fine. At least you can walk away going, uh, we'll help you know kind of like, well, here's here's the things what we would we work on, work on you with if you were to uh, to work with us. So, so there there's no risk involved. There's no commitment. Just a tw twenty minute call. You can talk to us about helping you with all of this stuff. So that if any of this is like, oh my gosh, I don't know how I'd ever do this on my own, we'll just walk you through it. Totally. Anything else you want to add to this? I'm curious. I have a personal question okay. for you. Okay. So once you started making these more balanced breakfasts and making sure you had the, the bigger meal in the day, besides your hunger, did anything else change in your life? Well, that's a, that's a loaded question. Cause I mean, did it change from having just from the breakfast or yeah. from like the weight loss? The breakfast, like with your being able to work or focus or your workouts or like your energy throughout the day. I, I, I wouldn't say that this particular, the things we're talking about for breakfast specifically caused any of that, no. Uh, but I would say that it made it much easier for me to, to all of the things that were necessary for weight loss. It, this was an element that was necessary to be part of that to make it easier. Mm -hmm. So an essential piece, but not like big enough to make all the changes necessary. Yeah, there isn't any one thing that you can do that's going to change everything for you. But there are essential pieces, and this for sure was one of them for me. Um, to where, I mean, I, I couldn't even begin to list the differences in my life that, <laughs> that things like this have made for me as far as my energy and how I feel with workouts, the weight that I've lost, and just everything all around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is an important piece of it. Cool. All the tools and tips we've learned along the way. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, okay. So if you want to try it, go in there. I I will warn you, this is not a typical recipe because as far as the instructions stuff because I'm giving my perspective on it. Right. I am not a cook. I wrote it and so it it's 
it's pretty much take these ingredients and toss them in a pan. That's, 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 how, simple that's how simple it is. But go check it out, try it, and let us know if you like it. If you have any questions, please uh, send us a message or book a call and do a free 20, that free 20-minute call with you and see if working with us is the right choice for you. All right, we'll see you next time.